Live. AM live. Fairly made it in for the AM live. AM? AM live. 11.59. What's up, John and Lori? So, when I say I'm going to do an AM live, it's probably going to be like 11.59 AM. What's up, Mike Shane? Oh, I'm telling you about the problem. I'm just going to poke a little fun at myself. What's up, George? Loving that guitar still, dog. You really bless me, homie. Roxy. They're going kind of quick. What's, what's up, everybody? John Wolf. I hear my skip to this. Hey, love you guys, man. Um, Shiznit. And also, whenever I say I'm working on today's video, what's up, step your game up. Derek, you're good. You're here. Good. So happy you're here. I've got to say here. What's up, Derek, the vice president? My bad. I didn't even send you a text, brother. I fucking got at you mentally, dude, and you received it. Yes. Vice president is in the house. It was great. I just want to poke a little fun at myself. Did you guys, did you guys, what's up, Benny Mac? What's up, Salinas, the salad bowl. What is up? Hey, did you guys notice the whistle? The whistle. Oil Dale, that's right. Oh, wait. This shirt is not going to work if you can't see this part of it. If you're only going to see this because I'm up like this, this shirt ain't going to work. I just can't be just like rocking a strap yellow shirt, bro. Hold up. We got to do something real quick. Yeah, so, uh, did you guys notice the whistle yesterday in my video? Bro. You know when people talk and a whistle comes out? What's up, Batman Rising? I feel like I do that once every 15 years, every 10 years. I feel like I did it when I was 10 and I did it when I was 20. It just happens every once in a while. What's up, Jay? You'll be talking in a whistle. And yesterday, like one of my first stories, I was talking. And I was like, yeah, and I got up and I was walking to the store and got there and there's a, I knew you guys heard it. No one called me out on it or maybe didn't hear it. I'm telling it myself. Nevertheless, bro, straight whistle came out, man. Damn it, Gina. I know, dude. And that's another thing. Ugh. The whole video was because I've had several people hit me up and say, hey, Let's talk more about the processor. We want to hear that story again. Hit it from another angle. Breathe some different life into it. And I had every intention of doing. But then I started noticing all the stories that connected leading up to it. And I just got lost in those. You know my videos are 25 minutes because my phone would just shut off at 25 minutes recording for whatever reason. I can't push it. Shout out to Larry. And so after I got told of those stories and I looked and I had 20 minutes. Dude, I had like five minutes. Yeah, people get smashed or farting, especially when people are eating or just stuff like that or just, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like disrespectful. It's kind of like, that's a wobbler right there. Like, you never know. Sometimes it's funny and everyone will laugh, and sometimes it's not funny and people get pissed off. Bro, so shizzing it, man. The physicals I've been talking about. So I threw a whistle out there. I am a regular at Wasco Reception, dude. I guarantee I've been there over 10 times. Flinging boogers, yeah, it's good. And no else is funny. When I was talking about the beat that chasing me around, I was all, they got a hold of my record. They had my record and they're chasing me, which we know it's file, man. They had my file. Any bathroom etiquette at night? Um, I don't know. You'd think there would be as far as like flushing the toilet and waking up your celly. No, not really. More like sometimes I w wouldn't flush the toilet so as not to wake them up. And they'd be more mad in the morning, wake up and see some, you know, yellow water. And be like, oh, dog, you fucking use the bathroom and flush. It's for your benefit. I don't, I don't want to wake you up. So, you know. Farrah missed this song is Skulls. I, Skulls, you know why? Because Skulls, I'm able to switch the lyrics up. Here's a lyrics of Skulls by Misfits. Demon I am and flesh I peel. See skin ripped inside out. Gotta hang it on my wall. Gotta hang it on my wall. But I say... Here I am in Bakersfield. Six skins are in my house. Gotta hang them on my wall. Gotta hang them on my wall. Hey, hey. So, yeah. Of course, I love that song. I can... And, of course, Die, Die, My Darling. Who doesn't love that song? What's up? Homegirl called the police on me for stealing the car. 
Bro, been there and done that. I didn't, couldn't see the rest of it. I got two phonies, one for stealing the car, another for burglary for stealing. Dude, that's my exact same story, dog. What? No, nah, you're telling my story, homeboy. One for stealing the car, another one for stealing the actual keys. Dude, that's my story, homeboy. Are you serious? There's no way that happened to you two. And you're from Bakersfield, too? Uh, thank you, what's up? What is up, East? So, yeah, um, another thing. Dude, I was going to wear, when I had the yellow shirt on, which I took off because you couldn't really see the decal because I'm up like this, up in the grill. And uh, I was going to wear these. I was going to freaking lock in some accessories. Yellow, yellow. It's like the same kind of yellow, too. Why wouldn't I? It's like a goldish yellow. I had it on. Sue. That was like stupid. It's like you're going like, to like, like do flash dance or tennis or something. Because you clown me, dog. So I was feeling confident. And I didn't, you know, usually I don't care about stuff like that. But I ended up not wearing them. But here they are. But uh, yeah, bro, I should, should rock them with my thing, huh? And, uh, you know, it's funny about yellow clothes. What's up, Alabama? I remember in seventh grade. Yeah, I love their spans. They are perfectly preserved in 2003. Even a band from named Snot from 2003. There's Green Eyed Gemini. What's up? Great dancer from 1980s. Yes, they are, man. Not the flash dance. So, um, dude, in seventh grade, so we're talking about yellow clothes now. I had these vans that I got. They're uh, yellow bands, and they said bands all over it in black. And then I had a yellow and black checkered shirt buttoned up. It looked fresh with some fucking stonewashed pants when they were fucking the thing back in the day. So you got this yellow and black on deck shoes, yellow and black shirt. But then what happens on day two when every other shirt I have clashes with those shoes? Snarf, snarf. It only looks good like one day of the week. And then next time I'm wearing like a fucking red and uh, green shirt with yellow shoes. Get the fuck out of here. You get the... No, what are those? No one hit me with the what are those. Stay looking like a bone, B-Dog. I mean... You guys missed it. Fuck. I know, dog. I, I used to love... I had the, a bunch of these because like I was saying in my video yesterday, I ripped little holes in them and put dimes in them. 20s, whatever. Just put, you know, the shit's made up in there. Drop... Oh, I will drop the Burdu video, man. I know one of the most solid woods I ever met was from Purdue. Solid dude, and he had he stutters, bro. He really does stutter, and he stutters worse when he gets mad. He really just like, and I'm not even gonna try to mock him. I'm not even gonna try to do it because I'm come across wrong and have the utmost respect for him. And when I got out of the pen, I admit that la that time I got out, I was hitting kind of hard, and I lost contact with the fellows for a minute. I did, didn't really want to talk to nobody, and so he called and tried to talk to my brother in jail. He's like, let me talk to Splinter. My brother's all, who is it? And he's like, it's a giant. Because he knew I was running around with the homeboy giant. But but he was stuttering real bad. My, my brother knows he's, the dude stutters. He's like, I know who you are. I can just tell why that was stuttering. Giant don't stutter. What's up, Johnny? Cross paths with someone named Soldier from Cole County. Man. Possibly. Got quite a few soldiers. What else, though? What else? What else? Mm hmm Is acid even a thing anymore? T days four one think four one three said tell us a story tripping on acid. You like that, Gemini? Like how that happened? Cause I used to have a problem with just answering questions without actually reading the question. But I can just tell you one time the me and funk one. Always when I'm working out, you're gonna hear that song and I play music, you're gonna hear Show Us Alien by Funk One, the album Ping Is Con. Because I'm not going to get a copyright. That's my homeboy. I loved hearing the album. And it was me and him and my cousin Scrap B. And we were freaking at a motel, just drinking. And some dude came out and just gave us some acid and we took it. And it was all crazy. And we were fucking driving. And we were tripped out to the max. And we drove past a school. And there was a car in the fence of the school. Still like running, but in park with the headlights on. And we drove past it. And all of us like, did you guys see that? What the fuck does this mean? We flipped back around, got out, like just looking at it. Like, oh my god, I can't believe there's just a car right here running in this fence. And all of a sudden, this dude came running up, and his old lady was behind him. Oh, Howard! Howard, what'd you do? We we're just like, whoa, fuck, bro. Crazy. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Wilson's view. Like, oh, buy police up on acid. Yeah, that's what's messed up. He started messing with the police and shit. That dumb boy Tom from. San Gabriel Valley. Motherfucker, two striker. 
was drinking and shit, riding in the car with this old lady. He drove past the park, he seen one of his homeboys. So this old lady, that's my dog! Pull over and drop me off. She's like, no. Like, I know better, I know what's gonna happen. No, it's my dog, drop me off. Like, alright, drops him off. Next thing she gets a call. Collect call from L.A. County Jail. Got drunk. Cops came and he beat him up. Didn't even realize it until he sobered up. And they told him, you beat our ass last night. He's like, no, don't tell me that I got two strikes. End up getting fucking 20 at 80%. T-Days 413. Why do I keep saying 413? 413. How would you pronounce it? 413? 413? 413? 413? Whatever, huh? T-Days, not the most love respect. You've been around me for, you've been around this channel for a long time, dude, dog. So, spook to you, brother. Point of view crew. Rocks are good today, huh? They put a little bit extra in there. Feels like. Hell yeah, bro. 413, that's what's up. That's the area code, huh? Check me out in Bakersfield. We had 805. Which, the dirty nickel. 805. And then they broke us off and gave us 661. Which is still cool. And I know people like 805 touch on their face. Stuff like that. 619-559. That's what's up. Let's get them rolling, huh? Represent to the fullest. Polynesians. Let's go with a bunch. They were full-grown men. Size. Polynesians. No, I'm not sure, man. I don't think so. What's up? Scared of struggles? Yeah, 707. I was getting some calls the other night. And trip me out. The 707 area code. He's like, what's up? Remember that movie? I've watched this movie so many times. And, and it still scares me every time I watch it. You'd think that I would know what was going to happen. And it's when a stranger calls. And she's getting all those prank calls. And all of a sudden, the police call. It's coming from inside the house. It's coming from inside the house. <coughs> awesome. What's up, Nigel? Thank you for joining. What's weird? Green Night Jim and I said something's weird. What's up, Splinter? You're the man. Thank you. 310. Yeah. See, Jared said his old connect used to put in there, too. Kayonda. Okay, Cubo. POV crew is worldwide, man. That's why I checked out when someone hit me up the other day. He said, what's up, brother? Rob, you know, Indian. Um, not sitting bull, Gandhi. Gandhi type Indian. He's like, I was like, decent, I've touched down over in India. He's like, well, no, I'm in Atlanta, but I'm Indian. And we all love you. We're all family. I was all sweet, man. Love it. Yes, calls from 707. What up with that monkey butt, though? Dude, I haven't had it for days, dude. And I hope I never get it again. I had it twice. Once at work, once at county jail, and it's the worst. I completed my program. Thank you for joining, Red. And as I mentioned in the video, too, when I graduated, I graduated with a 3.3. .3. And if you were a 3.0 and above, you're supposed to get this extra, like a gold like tassel, like rope, go around your shoulder. And they're announcing that. They're like, you'll notice with the students, with the thing, they had a 3.0, and I'm a 3.3, didn't get one. I'm like, what? I'm trying to make me look like a 2.9er. Trying to look like I'm average. Trying to put me up on, trying to make me look mid. Never that. And even one of my co-students, he had like a 3.8. And it's like, where's yours? Neither one of us had one. But no, I have not used my certificate yet. That's what's up. Yeah, man, I have not. I have not gone to work yet as an electrician. So what else, though? Yeah, man, pretty crazy. Like I said, a um, bunch of people were asking me to talk about the pro officers. So I went to go make the video. Of course, that's what has some stories leading up to it. Got lost in those. By the time I got the pro officers, no time yet. And I feel kind of like it's all about timing. I kind of like ruined it. I don't think I could come back out like, okay, pro officer, tell it again. Because the views are already kind of low. Because I think some people are like, nah, I've heard it before. You know, I breathe new life in it and hit it from another direction. There's the homeboy Bert the Beast. What's up, brother? Still, though, I don't know. So, um, my next video is going to be three things. Thank you, Nigel. The video about the PO is really good. Thank you, brother. The next video is three things because I've been getting tremendous mileage out of those videos. And I've been getting tremendous mileage. I had to say the word tremendous mileage. I kind of like saying that. So, uh, that's what's up, Cutter. 
So yeah, man, my next video is going to be three things that will get you sent to prison of people who do them anyway. I think it's going to be a good one. I know it is. You know I know it's going to be good because I obsess over my videos. If you guys only knew. If you guys... Yeah, if you guys knew. If you talk to some of the people... I don't, I don't even know how to word what I was going to really say. So I'm just going to band it all together. And thank goodness for the little tiny filter that I do have to stop it. Because I don't know what would it would have been. But I'm going to say this. I put a lot in my videos. It take a lot of time. Because I want to make sure they're good, man. I want to make sure they're good. And you could tell what happens when I don't put time into my videos. Because yesterday, the video, I called it prison... It's a little bit clickbait. Because I had called it a hit from... The original video I put out yesterday originally was called I hid from the cops at a prolster's house. And the views were like way, way low. I hate getting low views. And I was like, probably because people are sick of hearing about the prolster or whatever. I told them before. But I'm thinking if they can only watch the video, they'll notice there's new stuff there. So then I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to call it Prison Story Prison Gangs. Because Wes Watts and every fucking video he has, he calls it Prison Story Prison Gangs. He doesn't talk about either. He can tell there to be all, and that's bullshit. Don't fucking tell me your excuses. He's on that kind of thing. So, uh, you obsess? Yes, I do. I do obsess, huh? I, uh, so I gotta make sure I get the videos right. And yesterday, the video, it's now called Prison Stories, Prison Games. If you watch it, the first 20 minutes was on hit. It's banging. Cause that's the part that I put the time into it. But when I noticed I had five minutes left, tell a pro pro story. No, no time given. Just straight up bare bones. Like, this is what happened. No jokes. No quirks. No chicka chicka chicka. So, yeah, man. I'm doing good, brother. Kush, thank you, Kush McGee. McGee, I'm doing good, brother. Sits on the toe of the straight up tomahawk, huh? No, 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 no. He didn't sit on the toe of the tomahawk. He accused my homeboy, Nick Brimage, of sitting on the toilet with a tomahawk and crying and being all tripped out. I do believe in ghosts, man. But what are ghosts, though? What's up, Chris? What are ghosts, though? I mean, other like demons, like other stuff, or, like aliens, extraterrestrials. There is something different. Something keeps fucking with me around here. Oh, you know what? I'm so proud of him. I'm so happy about something. You know what I'm happy about? I have this crazy thing, and I, I want to show it on video. I want to show it on video. And I almost told you guys what I'd been anyway. There's a crack way up at the top in the kitchen. There's like a crack, a little tiny crack. And these gang, gang of freaking ants come out of it every night. And they go down, they get like in the cat food, or they try to, you know, they, don't, they have not figured out how to get to the real food, the chips and the cookies. But they all come down, and they try to get in the sink, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever around here. And dude, the other day I didn't have milk. I didn't know. So I had to go make some cereal. There's no milk. So I threw the cereal in the trash can. And man, when I came out the next day, there were a million fucking ants. They came hard for that cereal. I'm like, dude, what, what am I going to do with these ants? I've killed the thousands and trillion, dillion ants over the last several months, dude. Every night coming out. What if I just plug the hole? Duh. What if I motherfucking put some something over some glue or some caulking over that freaking hole, man? 909, shout out to you. What's up, Big Cheese? No, there was no problem. I was clowning because, A, I whistled. Big Cheese, did you hear the whistle? I was like, yeah, man, I was walking in the store and <laughs> had a blue shirt on. You know, you hear someone talk and whistle. I do it every 10 years, dude, and I've done it twice, and that was my third time. So, uh, it really bugged the shit out of me. No one heard it. So I told it to myself. And it was funny when I'm talking about beat bat chasing me. Um, I said they had my record. When they had my file, not my record. I said it multiple times. My record, my record. As if they had like a little... I got Splinter's record, and we're going to play it here. Here, the first song is uh, my favorite jacket. This is my favorite jacket. Bam, chicka -ch bam. I am working on a new song right now. Yes, I am. Hello, little Amanda. She gave me a wing shot. She heard it. She gave me like a high five. She pawed me up. Does Callie recognize any white boy gangs of Oklahoma? I'm not sure. I feel like if a white boy came from Oklahoma to Cali gangs, I mean, to, to, if a white boy came from Oklahoma, California prison, I feel like he would go in there and claim whatever city he got busted in. Second dude's in Oklahoma, and he comes to Bakersfield and catches the term. He's in Bakersfield County Jail, fighting the charge. Then he goes to Wasco, I think he's going to say. And I'm from Kern County. I came from Kern County Jail. Right? When he just arrived at the city that he got busted with. But he'd probably say, yeah, originally from Oklahoma. 
But I don't think you can go in there and bang like whatever gang. You'd be like, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I've never seen it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've just never seen, I've just never seen it. But I've seen people from out of, out of state and they come, because I've seen tons of Tennessees. They all go by that. Hey, what's up, Tennessee? Or whatever fucking, hey, what up, Dakota? Wherever the fuck they're from, they like call themselves that. And fucking, seems like they always just ride with every town I got busted in. It's like, yeah, humble, it's up from Tennessee, but I got busted in LA. You know, the kick with the LA boys. Not like banging like a Tennessee game. Gang, haven't seen it. That's a ghost star. What? Nail flam, riff for him, shut up, climb shank, get his prince, I've never seen him. That's her nickname. Yeah, that's her nickname. Damn right, some dude from Tennessee comes to California, gets busted. I think it's gonna be Tennessee, each and every time. And get original on. Call yourself fucking hopscotch or something. Why not? Yeah, Tennessee though. Some guy comes from Georgia. He's like, just call me Georgia Peach, homeboy. Facts. That's what's up. What's up, brother? What's up, Rick? What's up, SWP? That's how they do it here in Oklahoma, too. Yep. Yeah, they all come with their, uh... That's, that's their Blacasso. You like that word, Blacasso? Speaking of Blacassos, I named this dude Vandal. I named him Vandal. And I thought that was a sick-ass name. What's up, homeboy? called Vandal, dog. Vandal, because he would break into soda machines. Back when, fuck, I mean, you could you used to be able to really, you could peel the top like a fucking tuna can and get into that shit. So, uh, he was doing that, and he got busted, and he was fucking, how your dog get his name, Lillimander. I'll tell you that in a minute, about Lillimander. So I called him Vandal, he got busted breaking into soda machines and shit, and then I'm at Wasco Reception, and they're talking about a white boy from Bakersfield, and the gym's gonna really get fucked up, and his name's Peanut. It's gonna be named Peanut's gonna get fucked up. And we're, like, walking a lap. Trying to get close to the gym, just kind of like see what's going on, see who comes comes out. And sure enough, here comes the victim. He's all handcuffed, he's all down, and she's all beat up. And it was Vandal. He changed his name to Peanut. Dude, you downgraded, bro. How could you go from like Vandal? Vandal's like, oh, to Peanut, bro. Like, like, wah, 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 wah. Hmm. What, there are two guys from Oklahoma? Then they got a gang, huh? Right? Then they probably fucking started click. So, uh, yeah, there probably is, I'm sure, um, shout out from Italy, that's what's up, are you in Italy right now? Exactly, peanut, Pfft. kind of shizzing it is that, got a car, yeah, maybe deep, spinning POV Chris, what's up Jeremy, oh, Lillamander, her name is Lily, then, uh, she's like looking at me like, what, fool, her name's Lily, and I don't know, I just start, uh, calling, and then, uh, I don't know how it happened. Lily, and then I start calling her Mandarin for, for whatever reason. Mandarin, Ma Mander, Lily Mander, Mandarin. I don't know the joke. Oh, Lily Mander. Is there something? I don't know. I, I'm going to answer your question and realize I had no answer. And now Joe Biden does it. Like, so, what are you about the tax dollars and lowering the gas? And he's like, oh, I got this. He's like, so, well, we're going to infrastructure, uh, things in place, uh, uh, checks and balances, um, you know, it's, it's, it's an ebb and flow, give and take, it's, uh, what are those things called, uh, oil derricks, uh, so, um, sorry, my bad, so I don't know how one, how does one member of POV, like, um, officially, like, member, member, like, join, like, pay the four ninety nine. dollars so like, I'm a member, you can press the join button, but unofficially, you're a member right now, homie. You're a member right now, bro. You're in my live dog hanging out with me? That sounds like membership to me. But yeah, if you want to throw, throw your dog a bone, homeboy, like the $3.99 a month, which I've heard countless testimonies about how they don't even miss it. Yeah, they don't miss it. Like, bro, I've been getting it $3.99 uh, last couple months, and dude, I don't even notice. Don't even notice it was gone. Anyway, well, maybe sometimes they notice because then they, they don't, they're not they're not there anymore. I've lost joiners because they notice, but you won't notice, bro. If you heard anything about that in Cali since you lived there, heard anything about what? What's up from? And I heard the I seen the fist. Heard anything about what? I've been around the world once. And I've talked to everybody twice. I've been coast to coast on a piece of toast. And, uh, no guitar. This is a no guitar live. Do you notice? Thank you, Rick. I appreciate it, man. Because, what's up, Sam Joaquin? 
I notice when I bring the guitar to the life, I'm just like this. Every once in a while I look up and it's just, it's not really hanging out. I mean, it feels, I don't know. I'm just practicing my guitar. What are the fools in the pink to do to get geeked out? I know, bro. That's why it's not a freaking... That's why I have not... Bro, it's no fun in there. Nothing. Tear your TV apart. Write your old lady like a fucking 12-page letter. A big old long letter. I remember when I was out there, uh... I never want to say anything, but, uh... Fucking, uh, did you, uh... I saw that shirt you had. I, I don't know where that shirt came from. I, I was thinking to myself, did I buy that shirt? No, I couldn't have bought that shirt. Blah, 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 blah. Front and back, huh? Postman's like, nah, dude. Like, five stamps ain't gonna work. Man, do good jobs in Cali trip or you smut bud or does it count against you for not being No, I don't know. Like I, I, I since since it's legal now, I don't think that they drug test for weed anymore. I don't really listen to much death metal. What's up, goaty goat? I listen you know what I listen to mo I listen to uh No Tweaking the Pan dude. I mean I've done it once or twice against my better judgment. Yeah, it does just suck. You just sit, just sit there spinning your wheels, like, tripping on shit. That's why heroin's so popular. That's why, that's how, that's, heroin, I mean, prison has turned many a people into a heroin addict. Matt, have I ever, have I ever met anybody from Stockton? What? Eastside Oakieville. Bro, I met all kinds of people from Stockton. 559. Five, I know, that person jailed. No, 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 no. What's up from the res? That's right. Hey, salute to you, brother. Can you talk about pride? What kind of pride, Big Cheese? I know, trying to act like you ain't high, so the homies don't trim your shit, huh? Just get high, stay in your bunk, stay in your cell, trip the hell out. It's kind of like reading a book and shit. That's, that's why this one dude is supposed to have this keys to this building. I'll tell you what he did. Since we're on the subject, he's getting ready to get the keys that homeboy left. But what happened was, he, he would do a little bit of meth, and he would lay on his uh, bunk with the Bible. And he would start looking at, like, Revelation, Daniel, and the apocalyptic books, and, like, end time, prophecy. And he just started to you know, number the beast and the two witnesses. And he'd get all caught up in the Bible. This one he was tweaked out, though. And he wasn't tweaking, just nothing to do with the Bible. And he knew when he was high, he'd break the Bible out. He's like, John 11, if you tie it in with Revelation 4... The end is nigh. What do you think about? I don't know. My man in Cali. Laugh with much love, brother. Keep the thing. Thank you. Get an audio book. I know, man. Hey, yo, bro. I, I want shout out to uh, Sam Man, Boxer Paradigm News Media. And they always got a book, good book going. They read chapters on there. And man, how they say it. Flattery is imitation is the highest form of flattery. I myself am wanting to get a book to read. I wanted to read. I got the dirt. Motley Crusoe sent me. But I feel like I'd copyright it for that. I want to get a book and read it, man. I think it'd be cool. Hang out with you and go through it together. I was always almost thinking like a murder mystery type too. But with something like that. I got Ash on up. With something like that. If you, uh, if you, if I do like a murder mystery or something. Like my favorite book. That I read in there, you can't come halfway in. You know, you can't like come into chapter six because you don't know what the hell's going on. Real American Demon. Hmm. Oh, Real American Demon, is that a book? No, the Bible does not lie. Hmm. We talked about that, brother. It's created it. It's green lighted. Derek, what do you mean? So so I can read the dirt? Jailhouse preachers, yep. Mm-hmm. You know, you get see people get in trouble for this too. They will do the prayer circle at night, and they'll start hugging all races, and get my drift, and just doing all, all that. Just like just really hanging out tough, all races. Like, hey, but we're doing it for Christianity, and some drugs come in or alcohol, and they're gonna all tore up, drunk and high. So they said, no, dude, if you're gonna be banging the Bible and doing the Christian thing, and just going down there and hanging out with all the races and all you guys hugging and just singing kumbaya together then when the drugs come and the alcohol you gotta leave it alone leave it alone release my own book i know right hey when i was the whole cmc west i did write a book it was a halfway though because when i got out I, I abandoned it but it was a murder mystery dude it was like a always getting confused fiction and non-fiction one million dollars 
Well, what is it? What is fake? Fiction or non-fiction? Fake is stranger than fiction. Fake is non-fiction. It was a non-fiction book. Crazy how you knew. I know. I wouldn't say I knew him, but I bumped into him a couple of times. It's because uh, my cousin, his wife, knew his people somehow. So that was a connection. Wow, it's that strict with Ray Sound Kelly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, heck yeah. If you have everyone, blacks, Southsiders, Pisces, whites, and all down there holding hands, and then after they pray, they hug each other. Hugging? And even like, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to say for sure, but maybe even eating together, some spreads and stuff. He's breaking all the rules. But say, hey, we're doing it for God, though. So it's kind of like, do you want to be the guy going in there and beating him up for serving God? Not me. So, uh, uh, uh. yeah, it is okay, too, for the most part. It is okay, but stick to it. Because say like you're doing all that and then tomorrow some heroin hits. Because there's not drugs there all the time. It comes and goes. So there's no drugs in the building and you're doing that. Some drugs show up and you're all over them. Like trying to buy all the drugs. Like, wait a minute, dude. No, you're doing the Bible thing, remember? Everyone got their own table. If you don't get with the program, the program... Yep, if you don't get with the program, the program's gonna get with you. I like that one. What's up, Road Rash? What's up, Road Rash? What's up, brother? Man, I seen you for a minute, doggy dog. Nice. What's up, brother? Road rash. I'm almost positive. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I can't even find it right now. I can't find it. I'm still here. I'm looking for a shirt Road Rash sent me. I would have felt so stupid of him if I'm wrong, but Road Rash, this looks familiar. Can you send this to me? If you didn't, just please say yeah. And like, correct me later, privately. I'm pretty sure Road Rash sent me to the door. Good morning, Dime. What's up, Dime? Thank you for joining, brother. Love your life, homeboy. Yep. Mm -hmm, I feel you on that, Cutter. Fiction is false. That's right. No, no, no. Fiction is real. That's why they say stranger than fiction. Like, stran like stranger than real. The non-fiction... Now I'm all confused. Non-fiction is non-false or non-fake. Right. No? Thank you. Got the shirt. Fiction is real. Non-fiction is real. Oh my gosh. Non-fiction is real. How can they say stranger than fiction? Cause, oh, because it's made up. So it's really, really strange and wild. Like dragons and castles. Like, cause I've heard that fucking thing before. Stranger than fiction. Science fiction, for example, is fake. Right. Gotcha. So fiction's fake. Non-fiction's real. I like that. Not really, I think fiction is fake. I like what they said right here about not Vanguard said about science fiction. Right on. Detail that truck, brother. I had the same kind of job before. It's pretty cool, man. I liked it. What's up, Diesel916? Specs to you, my friend. I know. It's stranger than fiction. What does it even mean, though? The truth is stranger than fiction. What does that even mean? Jeez. Like some... Sayings, I just don't understand, like, objects and mirror, close to night pure. I'm going to beat your ass if you don't pay me the money you owe me. I mean, some of these weird sayings people have, I just, what do they even mean? New era of Cherries Manson. Oh you, oh, you said something about Charles Manson. But you said ear, and then when you said ear, you know what it made me think of? Ear. I need some ear pods. I need some AirPods. Anyone have an extra pair? I'll trade you these. And even someone sent me these. Someone sent me these. I saw the box. They're brand new. And they probably wouldn't mind if I traded them. Because uh, I can't use them because they're for an iPod. It's for an iPod. I, iPhone, which I do not have. iPad. These sent me these headphones. I know Derek would love them because they say DeWalt on them. They say DeWalt. DeWalt all day. So look at these headphones. I want to trade these for some earbuds. Earpods, not earbuds. Cordless earphones. If you know anybody. Let's do a deal, man. Let's do a trade. Otherwise, I'm not just going to hang these on the fucking art wall. Until then. Oops. Yep, there they are. Uh, other than that, black and yellow. Exactly, dude. How could you not want black and yellow? Here you go, Derek. You like these, Derek? If no one trades me for these pods, I'll give these to you, Derek. I can't use them. Oh, but someone gave them to me, though. 
Uh, when arresting Kelly Jails, do they give you your cash when leaving, or do they give you a check, bro? Maybe your cash. I think I want to say they give you a check, bro. Is what I want to say. Amtrak ticket, debit card. Oh, oh, the prison will give you cash. Prison gives you two hundred bucks cash. Fuck yeah, they do. Prison does give you cash. Yep. Don't speak English, speak Spanish. Paisano. I'll dag me room with the Pisces. I mean, if you want to talk to someone you can speak with. Yes, $200. 50 50 bucks, dude, to pro with. Dang, that's Nathan. Ouch. Oh, but Jamie Asuna, he's, he's PC in prison. And I don't know if he's a weirdo or not. I mean, he cut his silly head off, pulled his lung out, and his eyeballs. I'm borderline weird. Yeah, weird. Yeah, 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 weird. I'd say weird. Hell yeah. If you have nothing on your books, you get 50 bucks. When you leave county jail or prison? Prison, California prison gives you $200. You know what I heard though? Because it's like, like a dollar ten a day. Actually, I heard you have to do a certain amount of time. I think if you do like a four month violation, you actually might get like a buck sixty. I'm gonna check into that. I don't think it's always two hundred. Now if you don't even do like four months. I've never been to the feds. I think it'd be cool though. What's up, Fabian? Yes, I'm a feel from Yellow County. Definitely. A check, I know, dude. Check would be yeah, man. Hell yeah, I would. I left, I left Arizona with $700, and I came to California, and I had $0, and I landed in a, a level 4 prison by a level 3 gym on the level 4 yard. I came to Arizona, I knew I had 700 bucks, so I started getting some drugs. Why wouldn't I? Because I knew my money would catch up with me. And then when I put my slip in to buy it, it said I had no money. I was like, damn, dude, imagine that, showing up at a prison, getting some drugs, like, oh, no money. I'm like, I swear I have $700. They're like, come on, dude. I had to make some calls real quick, make it happen. Yep, a dollar ten a day. <clears throat> and I got out, and when I came back, and I was at Kern County Jail, I had a 602 it. I 602 CDC. And while I'm at County Jail, they sent me a check for 700 bucks. Which County Jail just put right there on my books. You know what used to trip me out? be crazy, man. I'd be in jail, because my, my dad, rest in peace, passed away from asbestos cancer. Mes mesothemioma. So I used to get asbestos checks. So, I don't know where these comments went. So I'd be sitting there posted up, and I'd get a uh, $800 check or something. They would send me a check in my legal mail. I'm looking for this fucking... They'd send me a check in my legal mail, and I'd have it. And I'd be able to give it to somebody. They would send it out to their people on the streets who would cash it. What? You know how hard that is to cash a check that's not even made out to you? Today it's almost impossible they'd get it done. They would freaking get it done, man. I don't know why these comments keep disappearing. I need to look at that blue button. That's why. I did dry out county and got $14, dog. What's up, James? What's up, James? Uh, Paul? I used a lot of your suggestions in my viewer's choice. Someone says somebody overdosed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the viewer choice. We do that once a week around here. I love those. My favorite videos. You guys have been coming with it, too, with the suggestions. Check into cash. Cash what? Check into cash. I need some cash. Damn it. I hate when this gets fucking clogged, man. Ultimate worst, bro. When this thing clogs up. Ow, shit. Burn myself. Anyways. We got One second, please. Hey. Back. That's what's up. Susanville. Man, I never went to Susanville or Jamestown. I wanted to go to camp. It was badass. 
How did you pass on a day's notice? Bro, uh, even CMC West had a camp yard. And my homeboy Danny Farmer, rest in peace, went to the camp yard at CMC West. They would pick up trash on the beach in San Luis Obispo. Can you imagine that? You wake up in prison, eat breakfast, get dressed, hop on a bus, and you walk up and down the beach, dude. Not the beach. The beach. Pick up trash. They found a quarter pound of weed. It was black. It was bumblebee. It smelled bomb. They all started making clobos and just hooping it. But just like I mentioned before, idiots, they get on the bus to come back to prison from work and they want to start smoking it on the bus. Idiots. Cops smelt it, shook everybody down, fired everybody. They still had it. Drank a lot of Cerdo. Cerdo work? Cerdo does work. I believe that Cerdo does work. Cerdo doesn't work for weed. I mean, it works for everything. Yeah, yeah, it worked. Because it, like, coats your stomach. It does, does exactly what the, uh, the drug test things do. The, uh, you know, you drink it eight hours clean. They've always worked for me. It didn't always worked. For parole... One time I was using, I was up all weekend, I was using everything. My brother came to stay, we were partying, and I had to go test for parole, and I took one of the drinks. And I remember leaving the parole department thinking, well, damn, hopefully I just get 30 days. Hopefully I can just do my violation of county jail. I just knew. I just knew that he was going to come arrest me in a couple of days, and it was clean. I was just like, boom! Could not believe it, bro. What's up, Artie? And how I lost a job, man. I was just smoking weed. Shout out to the Bay Area. Hey, baby. Bay. Hey, baby. Bay. Hey, baby, I was just going to take a drug test for weed, I was going to get this job, drink the drink, went and met the boss so he can give me the drug test so I can go down to the, the lab, and he starts talking out his neck, dude, long stories, I'm just like, hurry up, finish, dude, one story, went to the next story, it's so like, how strong is that coffee you're fucking with today, homeboy, because dude, like, chatty Cathy on yours, finish it up, I gotta leave, talk, 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 talk. Like a half hour. Finally, by the time I left, I couldn't even hold it. Dude, I had to pee so bad, I pulled over and just peed on the street. Couldn't hold it. And I got to the lab, guess what? I couldn't pee. Because I just dumped it all over the street, man. And you can't drink no water because it'll flush out the thing. So you just have to sit there like, I can't pee. And you're like, well, drink some water. And you're like, nah, I'll pass. I can't pee, but liquids? Nah. No. Absolutely not. I'll sit here and just, you know, hope my kidney just starts kicking it out on the strength. Kicking it out on the strength. Three hots? Damn. That'd be nice. I thought CMC West was going to have three hots. Because you went to the chow hall for lunch. I thought that was dope, dude. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you want a third hot? But you uh, get your tray and it's peanut butter and jelly on it. And this celery stick. A cram cracker or some shit. But now when I went to Arizona, there was hots. Three hots. Fire. I'm turning away when I hit this tobacco pipe because I don't want you guys to see it, but I'm not realizing, like, you can still see me. If I can't see you, you can't see me type shit. Like, watch this. They can't see me no more. Like, I'm, I'm free to do whatever I want. I can't see them. They can't see me. RK. Where's RK at? The last live I did, I played Rooster. I said the first person to guess it was going to get a shirt in RK. He said, uh, he said it. So, uh, where he at, though? I'm gonna give him a shirt, man. Anyways. 15 minutes left of this live. We're gonna do it for an hour. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Where'd you guys go? Yeah. I, I do not like it when these comments do that. I saw you earlier, Adam, and I knew you were going to say that. We, um, we, we, I promised you we'd check in until we would. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure someone actually took a picture. You might, It's possible you might not have seen RK. But rather just to argue about it, I could just, I mean, what size are you? I'm not tripping on it, bro. You, I got you on a shirt. What size are you, homeboy? Went dog, what's up? You ever play frisbee golf? Dude, at the park right here, across from my pad. Hell yeah, Jay-Z, you, uh, you can buy a shirt and a sticker. I'll give you, you buy the shirt, the sticker comes free. And now would be the perfect time, dude, because fucking look at this. Dog, look at him, boy. 
When they're a joke back in the day, and I'm not saying this to you guys, but when they're a joke about like, kiss the elephant or some shit, like, bro, look at it, homeboy. Does that look like a fucking rabbit? Dog, if you want to buy a shirt, I will throw you a sticker, dude. With it. And I can, yeah, yeah, I can send it to Tennessee. And I'll write you a letter, dude, and I'll draw a picture of Tennessee. With it. I'll put an extras on it, my bad. But I want to make it special for you. I write everybody a letter if they buy a shirt. I write them all a letter. Nice little letter. With the shirt. I'll send it out. I got envelopes. I'm ready to go. I got you. I got you, Joe, all day, man. Uh, just figure out how you want to do it. You can hit me up later. Do you have Instagram or, you know. Yeah, just, there you go. Thank you, Derek. You just mail whatever to Cash App or to uh, Instagram. And if you do it to Cash App, you can leave your address right there, too. And um, I'm ordering stickers right now, too. In fact, it's crazy because Cinch Pinch, the dude I get stickers from, told me he, like, retired from making stickers. He didn't want to do them no more. Or he's getting them from me. And I was hitting him up on Instagram, and he was not getting back at me. I'm like, damn. Then finally, he's like, dude, I just saw your Instagram message. I don't really mess, mess, a little mess with Instagram. Here's my email. Which I haven't used yet. But I'm going to email him and get some more stickers. I love these, dude. I mean, these are perfect. I don't have any more of these. I only have the splinter stickers right now. But I'll get more of these because I love the spider right there, dude. I mean. So, yeah. That's what's up with it. That is what's up with it, man. So, uh, other than that. Or show like a. Breaking pad, a grand land, you know what I mean? Man, I wish I could see my... What's up, Green Eye Gemini? I'm gonna look at some messages. I have a feeling I've been missing some messages, so I'm gonna pay attention for a minute. I get caught up in it. Yeah, please, watch the commercials. I, mean, I never I never really bring that up. One time I did, though, when I was in the truck driving to school, I was like, hey, for the next week, I'm just going to make all these videos. Can you please watch the commercials? And dude, it was like a big increase. I was like, damn, good looking out. Well, quick story about what, man? What, what would the story be about? What did we talk about? Still doing beer runs at Fresno? Oh, that's kind of scary, man. Around here, though, if you got to do a beer run, I don't suggest it, but you just got to do it like a Chevron or 7-Eleven. You don't want to do it like at a private store. Not a private store, man. Not from that black star. A uh, story. What would story be about, man? Good looking out, Derek. Much love, man, for that. Okay. Okay. I, can, I got that. Hold me most of the, with the seal. Hold up. Okay. I'll be right back. I got to grab some of the drink. Damn, what a heartbreaker. That happens all the time. It happens all the time. I went and bought three, I mean, two rock stars this morning. And I drank one. And I thought I had another one, but I must have drank them both, dude. Snarf, snarf. Pink tacos. So, messing with the CO. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Messing like that, huh? Well, I don't know if be messing like fighting. Or like just like messing like, hey girl. A fighting story. Let me just tell you this one, man. When I was at Soledad, there was one old beat up. I know. I know, Chris. They are, they're horrible. There's one old beat up cell phone. And they're charging a lot of money to use it. It was beat up. And then all of a sudden, okay, what's somebody saying? Then all of a sudden, there's all these cell phones, and it's like, damn, it was like flooded. I almost couldn't even give them away, because people would like try to buy them and like rent them out. And before you know it, it's like, hell yeah, dog, I got, I got two apples for like 20 minutes on the phone, because they were flooded. Because what happened was, and we were on lockdown too, I just pulled it off there on lockdown. This nurse was coming, and they give you your pills to your door, they come to your door and say your last name, you walk up, and they give you a look. So he had so much macaroni. No cheese sauce, apparently, just straight mac on his, enough through the door to talk her in to bring in a naked picture of herself. There's a boob shot of her, some, some nudes of her. 
photos spit to the door. So she comes and slides the pictures and he has me and says, I got you. You need to bring me fucking 20 cell phones tomorrow or I'm going to expose you. Everyone's going to see this picture. So damn had her, man. I don't know what the hell she was thinking. And I mean, so that was going. I remember being working at Wasco reception. It's right when I went home. There's this dude. Funny too, because he didn't get it. He's, he would talk real weird, which I mean, I kind of talk weird too, I guess. I can't clown weird talkers. But I used to tell him, dude, buy a bowel, homeboy. Because it seemed like somehow he's able to speak without bowels. There's are He was just like, bro, weird speech, dog. And fucking, uh, I would just clown him. And there's this ugly ass, ugly ass free staff. And I remember people used to tell me that, like, uh, I remember someone was making fun of this other dude I knew because he had, like, a fucked up nose. It was, like, red. And they're like, yeah, his nose is all red and fucked up from alcohol. And I used to remember being like, what? His nose is red and fucked up from alcohol. I thought it just has, like, a sinus infection. But no, I knew what they meant when I saw this free staff because her nose was fucking bright red and her fucking breast smelled like vodka. And, bro, she was a straight drinker. He was always talking to her. Hey, get your money. And then one day he said, you guys got to leave me alone. You know, he fucking bigger over, bend over a bag of beans. Because there's a warehouse back there. We had the job. We were the stalkers. You would take these little fucking uh, pallets. And you would go get like, you know, eight bags of beans. And like 15 crates of milk. And you'd go get all the shit and just bring it up so they can cook. They'd be like, I need all these onions. And I'd like throw those away. Onions are gone. Onions are spoiled. Onions are bad. Fucking use pineapple, homeboy. Onions are gone. That's what I'd say. Anyway, you bring them all their stuff. So we've gone to this warehouse to get it. And there's the regular Mexican dude, the boss is not there. So this, you know what I'm saying? What can we call her? Rita, the red nose, the wino. Rita, the fucking red nose wino, homeboy. Was in that warehouse. I went to go get some fucking beans and some corn flakes and shit, some flakes. And he said, dude, stay out here for a few minutes. I'm going to bend her over a bag of beans. And I was like, ha, 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 funny dog. Bend over a bag of beans, dog. The hair is hilarious, dog. And I fucking went and did my run and came back. And sure enough, been over a bag of beans. I didn't really see much. I just like seen, I seen four legs. I just, I walked up and seen a back that was moving with four legs down there. And I thought, damn, is that a bag of beans? Sure as hell is. And then, and then later when they said, hey, Splinter, go grab eight bags of beans. I was like, I will not. I will not grab your eight bags of fucking beans. And you know why? Get your own beans. Mute the beans. I'll get the potato flakes. Wait a minute. You ain't been near the potato flakes, have you? I don't, I don't want to sound like, like, you know, I just won't get near your DNA. So, yeah, that was amazing. And then you had the time that I was at Mesa Verde, and there was a chick, she said she was from Oildale, and I was really just trying to talk to her all the time. Really just trying to talk to her. And, but, because everyone else is on this other chick hard. And so the Oildale chick, no one was talking to her, I was like, an open lane. Everyone's distracted by this one. And this one dude cried, had a broken heart because somehow he got out front and everyone was on this fucking broad, this one CO. And, and we found out her name was Tiffany because she had like the truck with the dash and they'd write their name, you know, like whatever. And so he came in, and he's like, dude, her name's Tiffany. And he got excited. He told someone, told someone else. He got all mad. Like, you guys, are, you guys aren't supposed to know. You better, she, she better not find out. Only I'm supposed to know her name is Tiffany. And he got all butt her. And we should be all, Tiffany, 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 tip, 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 tip. And it would just trip them out, and they were all fucking sprung out on this fucking Tiffany. But I, no one's looking at this one over here, and she's just like, mm, I'm from Odell. And I was like, hey, fuck, I'm from Odell, too. Not try to get at her, which I'm not from Rexham, but I know a lot of people from Odell. Robert Slane and Beardsley and shit, and fucking blah, blah, blah. She just came me to the curb, bro. She had no interest. She would not talk to me at all. But I was hey, trying. So I was trying to hit some cigarettes. I mean, something. No action. And then I see her on the fucking streets. When I have to be with this psycho girlfriend who is freaking psychotic. Could cheat on me a million times, but don't, I dare even look at a chick as she, when she walks by. Talk about like the fucking, what do they call that? Like, crazy? No, they call that like, what is it? Like, anyway, they call that like, it's like something like that. Dude, she sees me, that chick who I was trying to get at the whole time, she came to the curb, and then she's on me, and then I realized, well, she obviously she didn't want to talk to me because of her job. But not that she wasn't interested, because she was showing all kinds of interest. Like, oh my gosh, so happy I bumped into you. Oh my gosh, I slip over here. How'd you get here? You're in the car, in the car. And I'm like, yes, I'm in the car. I'm that way over there. Get the fuck away from me. My girlfriend's going to see you talking to me. She's going to flip out, dude. You kill both of us. Get the hell away from me. And she didn't even respect that. It stayed on me. Who is this girl? I'll oh, fucking got a word or two for her. No, you don't. So, and I was like, dude, why couldn't you act like this in prison? All I wanted was like a couple of sticks of weed. So beat that as a me. They're fair game. 
it cracks me, not cracks me up, it trips me out when I hear stories, like you hear, for like, from Florida prisons, and they say, like, it's, like, cool, and, like, the end thing to do, to play pocket pinball in front of the female guards, we call it gun, he even has a name, gunning, I gunned her, dog. Wow, that's crazy. If you tried doing some gunning in California, they'd freaking probably cut your head off and use it for a soccer ball. they cut your head off and they'd use it to hide dope in it. Anyone see that big bag of dope? Like, no, but don't look in that head over there. Mm. So I don't know, man. Dude, I haven't seen comments for a fucking million years. Yeah, pocket pimp ball, dog. What in the fizz out, come boy? Why do these fucking comments do this? No, it is. They just stop rolling, and then I think no one's saying nothing, and then I think, fuck yeah, they're saying nothing. I'm just not seeing it. So I've done enough talking for a while. I'm just saying, stop cussing, my kids. Stop cussing for the. Have I been cussing? Up from the ashes? Green eyed Gemini would tell me the truth. Have I been cussing? What's up, Nick? No, I don't want to do time in Florida. No way. Oh, I've been, cu I've been cussing? Really? Damn it. Sorry about that, man. I'm gonna be a cusser. I do sometimes. I like when I get caught up. You know what it is? It's only when I'm not, um, when I'm just free flowing off the top of my head. It comes out. Now you guys make me feel bad. So, cause yeah, I definitely don't, don't want to do that. But at least I see my comments when they're rolling. JoJo, what's up, dog? I said cusser on mine, huh, man? Oh, and Derek's being facetious. There's my dog, the vice president. Animator and narrator. Dude, that sounds like a song. Animate. Narrate. Don't hesitate. And, uh, dude, I might run with it. That might be a song soon. Ex-con. I know ex-cons do have a right to, like, cuss with it. I always wanted to go to Chuck Wall, Chuck's house. That was known as the most hardcore level two back in the day. A hardcore level two. Chucky's house. Right there next to Ironwood. In the desert. Blythe, California. 120 in the summer. Some Funny, I had like 99 people. And then it went 100. Because like someone came in, they went back to 99. Like someone stepped in. I was like, what's all this about? Oh, hell no. I'm outy. Look at these fucking comments, dude. They're really pissing me off, man. I just gotta be honest with you. Put earphones in so you can't see anything. There you go. Yep, shout out to the point of view crew of the joiners. That's how I like to say too. Mm hmm. PSA, this is cussing. No, 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 I only cuss when I don't think about it. But when I think about it, I can shut it down. What's up, Artie? I'm much love for the homeboy Artie, man. There's a shout out to the cussers. So anyways, yeah, I, my last video, I chose to do some clickbait. I don't know if I already mentioned or not. It says, talks about prison stories and prison gangs. I know I do try, so. Just like Homeboy said. Give like a little bit, you know, like credit and shit. Kirk County House. What, D-Money? Kirk County all day, bro. Do you ever think about you and some other prison YouTubers doing a show, Serious Lockdown? I've, I've done, I've, I've hung out pretty much every uh, prison channel that's out there. Not out of the foul mouth. There's the homie Joe. Good looking out, Dustin. Thank you for putting your, your homie on to me. You ride with the woods? Good looking out. Hit the cash symbol. There's a cash symbol? I didn't know there's a cash symbol. The mini series would be dope. A book, all that stuff. Isn't that stuff be fun? Yeah, 97 is a lot. Good looking out. Oh, uh, gave me a touchdown. Oh, uh, really? Oh, Joe did? Oh, good looking out, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. I got you right here. Look at it. Here's your shirt right here. Let me know what size and all that, where to send it. And I'll get it out, bro, tomorrow. I'll send it to you. I'll throw you some stickers. Write your letter. Oh, definitely going to check out after, after live. Bro, anything is better than nothing. That's why I don't even really put a price on it. I don't set a price. I just say, show love, whatever is cool for you, whatever you can do, man. 
Cut the string and let it fly. It's whatever kind of shirt, whatever you feel like you can give a donation to. They either say point of view crew spelt all the way out or they just say POV crew the initials. Yes, Johnny, I have a cash app. And if you're going to check into it, now would be a good time to look at what I was doing earlier. Remember seeing this trick in your kid? You like turn your pockets inside out, and I think there's like a joke about it. Like, what? Look at the elephant or something. I don't know. You, dude, yeah, the cash shot. Boy, do I. You remember that joke too? Would I? About that guy, a kid out of wood and I. And, um, I can't remember. And he said something. Uh, I can't remember. A kid out of wood, wood and I. And, and he was real shy about asking this girl out for a date. And finally he said, Do you want to go down on a date with me? And she goes, Boy, would I? And he got embarrassed, ran off. It's right there. Johnny Derek has it. And good looking out, Johnny. I appreciate it, man. Love. That's really awesome, dude. I really seriously appreciate it. Cut the string. Well, my shirts do have a kite on the back. They don't say cut the string. I think it's a cool little detail that the shirts have. They have like a kite back here. Cool, huh? And some um, say point of view crew like that. Some just say POV. Yeah, he ran off, man, because he had a wood eye, and he was, like, sad about it. And she said, do you want to go on a date with me? And she said, boy, would I? And he's like, oh, she's making fun of my wooden eye. I'm out of here. Right on. Good looking out, Johnny. That's awesome, brother. Much love, man. That's awesome sauce. I keep looking at this empty thing right here. And just, I'm just saying, oh, wait. What? Not totally empty. So, anyways... If I already cut the stream, let it fly. This is one of those AM lives. We'll be doing this two or three times a week. It's good for me. Hope it's good for you. The Slayer font shirts. Yes. I just found out today that I got an email. That I, I think I'll be able to start making those available. I just have one. And I love it. And if anyone don't know what he's talking about, it's a splinter like this. It's Slayer font. Splinter on a shirt. It's 9 p.m. in the UK. It is. I don't even know what time is it here. Uh, it's it's got to be like one or so. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, Billy. I'm beyond about to cut the stream. Let it fly. Thank you. I'm gonna be doing this on a regular basis. And my next video, maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be three things. That will send you to prison and people who do it anyway. Because people have been liking the three things thing. Yeah, hit me up at Tour Derek for sure. And if you have not watched my video from yesterday called Prison Stories of Prison Gangs, go watch it, man. Every, everyone is telling me that's like the funniest video that I've done yet. And I even put in the description, if you don't laugh in this video, I'll give you five bucks. And if you do laugh, like, throw me five if you're feeling it. If not, that's all good. But, um, yeah, so... Not my most love. Respect to you guys. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm cut stream. Let it fly. Fly. Blah, blah, blah. I hate stumbling on my own damn words. You know what it is? It's because when I'm talking and thinking, there's a disconnect. There's a damn dis disconnect. It was a funny video yesterday, Jojo. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Canada in the house. What does BYD mean? B... Peace. Yeah, I'm out of here. Cut stream, let it fly. Next video, probably tomorrow. Three things that would get you into prison people do anyway. The video I did yesterday, it's called Prison Stories of Prison Gangs. Go check it out, man. People are loving it. And then we're also going to do, in the next couple days, another viewer's choice. Let's keep it rocking. Shout out to Canada. Nothing but some respect. Catch you guys next time.